Okay, so we're going to do factorial notations. And the first thing you need to know is how to identify a factorial notation. It's always going to be a number, or in our case, it's going to be n, and it's always going to have an exclamation mark. So if you ever see, like, three exclamation mark, you know that you're going to need to do factorial notation. The formula for finding or solving these is n factorial equals in parenthesis in minus one parenthesis in minus two and it just keeps going on and on for an infinite infinite amount this is going to be your first number this is going to be your second number and this is going to be your third number now let's give some examples let's do five factorial so we know that we first have to start out with 5. And then it's n minus 1. So in our case, n is 5. So 5 minus 1, it's going to be 4. So we have 5 times 4. And then it's n minus 2, which is 5 minus 2. And it's going to give us 3. And it just keeps going and decreasing until you get 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And you're just going to times those all together and your answer is going to be equal to 120. I'm going to show you a cheat sheet on how to do factorial notation. So let's give another example. Um, let's do 4 factorial. So whenever you have a four, uh, factorial, you're going to start with that number. So in our case, 4. And what you're going to do is you're just going to decrease the numbers until you get to 1. And then all you're going to do is times them. And in our case, this is going to be 24 because 4 times 3 is 12. And then that times 2 is 24 and that times 1 is 24. One thing you always want to remember with factorial notation is that 0 factorial is always going to equal 1. Made with DoodleCast Pro.